Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here on our single player world. Today I'm super excited to get going, I'm pushing the wrong buttons and everything. Today we are going to be continuing on this and I wanted to just do a flyover first. Look at that, look how it's coming along. I haven't done much work since last episode. Uh, just a few little detailing things. As, as I said, I want, to, I want to bring you guys along for this one so we can, we can build it together. Now, what we have in here, I've been testing out some things because I ended up going with the roof like this. That's that sort of shape and I think that'll work. Uh, but what I was doing is, I realized we had some of these fence posts in there, and they just weren't working. I was going to put a an andesite block in there, like a, one of the polished andesite blocks, but I felt, you know, maybe we can use this to an, our advantage and add in a bit of lighting. So I put in some glowstone, and tell me what you think. I feel like maybe we'd be better off giving this a try. So I actually just went to the nether, because that's where I left this. Uh, so I could get... I don't have any... Oh, man. We're going to have to make our own. Uh, so we, we're gonna have to make some redstone lamps quickly because that was the plan So we'll quickly do a few of them just to see how they look as well Sometimes I I agree glowstone and redstone lamps uh, Individually, I don't feel like they really have that nice of a look, you know Either of them, but they've got their place I feel and a lot of people don't give them that I, I feel like I, I can give them that that they at least have a place uh, In here we'll put these on this side here there and we'll have to obviously power them so we can see what they really look like i'm already liking those a lot better if we could actually get those on and off uh daytime nighttime that would actually be really really cool um we'll see if we can get one of these because i know every time i use one of those and now oh my god jesse's glittering in his chest i am oh uh, yeah every time i use a blog uh i get someone mentioning how it's very silly uh, in here, that's a nothing thing. Uh, those are nothing things as well. Okay, so we can actually do this. If I can place one there, place one there. I can. Good. We'll see how this looks. Yeah, I choose those redstone lamps for sure. We'll put them in. We'll put them in uh, off camera, obviously. So the next thing that I was planning on doing, you can see I have got this little bit of a the ding on the roofs. Uh, the next thing we're planning on doing, obviously, would be to add in this next story. And I, I just need to clear out a bit of space in this inventory. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe we'll just uh, fill it up with a bunch of stuff like that. Take those, because they're actually pretty useful. And we'll have a, have a look at what we're planning on doing here. Now, we do have quite a lot of land to work with here. Like a lot of space. And in fact, you know what? Uh, this could actually be a good floor to just kind of have a bit of room and then put our next floor in so we could have a look at how we're going to do that let's just step back that might be easier for you to see now what i'm feeling with this is i want these roofs over here to kind of only go in one block maximum i want the floor to start the next floor to kind of start here go up to about that height then we'll taper in and pull out again wherever we need that so that is the plan. I'm going to probably give a few things a try. Obviously, we've started off with this and we want to create something a little bit different. So we might go with a combination of perhaps a bit of spruce and a bit of spruce uh, planks, by the way, and a bit of the bone block here. So I'll, I'll, I'll just get going messing around with a few ideas. Okay, so I think I've got something going on here. I almost actually let me go back, show you this. I almost feel like we probably don't need this middle one, and we might just do one on each side there. As I told you in the last episode, it's a little bit of a trick uh, in uh, how you can get things to look a little bit more round, I guess. So we'll do that. Get rid of this one here. Well, what are we doing with the fence, of course? See how this looks. Maybe, maybe we do need it. Maybe we don't. I think we don't. I think with that, we will need to put something else there for sure. Uh, but we don't need it. That's for sure. And in fact, I'm kind of seeing these as potential support things for the, the next floor. So as I said, this, this story here is going to kind of bulge out. And then we're going to come back again. So we're probably going to start coming back again. We'll go up a little bit and then we'll, we'll kink in a little bit. And I think those might be key to that. So I'll, I'll put a few more of these around. And what we can do now is I want to quickly just before we get... Well, I'll do that obviously off camera because it's a, a bunch of repetition stuff. Uh, what I'm going to do is get a bit of, where, there they are, let's get some of those, 
and we'll mark off the next story because this is actually very important. Uh, knowing where you're building your next floor, because many a time I get a floor and then I realize, for instance, that I'm putting a window at floor level. You know what I mean? Or the other way around, that your window's way high and you, you just haven't planned around where you want it. So we, we're going to fix that up right now. We're going to do this here and we'll go up probably to, let's just do those there. Uh, we, we wanted a little bit of a gap. Let's have it a walkable gap. We'll do these here. Let's see how this goes for us. I think this will this will work as a walkable gap. So that means if we need to put stuff in here for whatever reason we want to put stuff in there, we can do it. And I'm planning on this floor. As I say, this is going to be a spiral staircase, so we'll probably take a, a large chunk out of this floor. Uh, we'll just go up there. Then yeah, good. See, so yeah, you know what I mean. Like just so we can get this to fit in, we'll probably have. A large middle piece gone, which isn't a problem, but it, it's uh, something we have to think about as we build. So, as I said, I wanted to get this floor level right. Turns out it's actually com conveniently at this level. Uh, we can put in a few little supporty bits here. I've just filled these in, but what I'm going to do here, for instance, uh, let's see what we can do that there. I'm planning on doing this is actually very similar to what I've done on the other one. I'll show you what it is in just a second. We'll go down there, pull that up a little bit more. And we'll go down here, yeah, here. And we will, It's in fact, it's even very similar to the bottom story here. So we've got some windows. Look at that over there. Very similar to what we've got over here with these. Now, coincidentally, well, conveniently, uh, I've, I've made a little bit of a, a, a roofy pyramid thing there, which I want to see how that looks. Uh, it's one of those things where you, you just try something and... Get a mistake and that could be useful to us so i'll have to investigate that one uh but not right now and there 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 perfect so let's check that out quick i i don't really like when things are flat like that specifically when they are your support pillars however i feel like we won't get around that right there so we may have to just do something along those edges for instance a trapdoor or something just to distract from that or maybe it maybe it won't be as obvious once we've got this next piece in so this next piece what i was saying about it having a little bit of a dip i don't think we'll be going for that uh but i, w I want to get this piece in here for now well there you have it guys i think we've finally figured out this piece here i'm doing another one of these roofs just parallel to this and then we're going to now start kinking it in to kind of get it a, a back into its narrow shape at the top here. So what I've decided to do, as I say, was doing these two exactly more or less the same. It's not really, but it's, it's close enough. And now what we have to do is we have to pull this in one more. And what I'm thinking of doing with that is we'll probably forego a bit of room in this inside here. So in this interior, we could probably go down to there. So have a look from here. Now, this is important to, well, what I'm doing here is just keeping in mind the interior because I, let, I tend to forget about it myself. Uh, so this is something I want to do and I want to kink it in like that and then go up with the tower. Because remember what we said in the last episode, we want this tower to bulge out and bulge, well, shrink back in again. So if we go there, that's pushed in a bit. We'll move this roof, just connect it in there and we'll keep going up again. So that's what we're going to get started on now. Now, I've got a question for you guys, for you. Right there. If you've, got, if you've got anything you would want to ask about building, like what, what is something that I do when I build that you guys would like to know about, like like to learn, or something along those lines that you just can't understand how I do it or why I do it, but it's something that you've, you've thought about and you, you want to know the answer to. Uh, if you guys have got these sorts of questions, uh, let me know because I would, be, I, was, I would be very, very interested in answering some of these sorts of, sorts of things. Uh, so let's go down there. I mean, pretty much just because I've been on a massive answering spree now with uh, our Q&A, which should be coming out very, very shortly. Uh, we've just got to get all that stuff together and edit it out properly. Uh, but it is recorded, so that's the good thing. Now, come on. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have got questions specifically building related that you would like answered, uh, let me know. Or maybe just something you, you boys wanted to know that even if I don't do it, maybe I could I could think about it and incorporate it in some way here. 
So yeah, that's just that's just something. Uh, now, what I what I want to quickly go back up to here to do now is we'll start on one corner and work our way in because I think this should be all right. There we go. Probably find if we had some going oak roof or are we going spruce roof. I think we should go oak. Yeah, we don't have any oak uh, stairs on us, but if we could get some oak stairs, that would be great because that would mean that we could finish off this roofy bit here with that there, there, and then a bit of oak just connecting in there, which I think will be all we need. So I might just grab that quick. Let's do that. And obviously, ah, oh, yes, you see that? You see this uh, stuff I just picked up? I found the... Uh, the culprit. There was a, a thing over there. That's where the uh, mob noises were coming. I think it was last episode. Uh, there we go. We got that. That will be a right to test out our building. And by the way, just just quickly, let's just look at that. I'm, I'm loving the way this is looking. In fact, I'm loving from a flyover from that side. I tend to fly, fly around this base quite a bit. And uh, from that side, man, that is looking fantastic. We'll go up again. And then, we'll come back down here. Look at it. I think that is looking really, really good. So, I think we, we can keep going. I, I, I think we've given ourselves full right to keep going along with this. By the way, trick to stop yourself from falling off, hold shift. Life is much, much easier when you hold shift. So, we'll do that there. We'll do one there. And here, we will need to now think about, this is where we have to get a bit of, a bit of thinking in, involved. So we'll go up a little bit, and perhaps we can continue on with these, uh, which can be changed, uh, but we'll just see how they look. There, there, and like that. Oh, I don't know if it's cut in deep enough, like narrow enough for me. I think we might actually go with that. I think we might actually go with that now that I'm thinking of what we want with this bell tower. So as we come up here, right, we'll get up to about this level and then we'll bulge it out again. And that will be our bell tower. And I've got some vision in my head of how I want that to be. Whether or not that turns out, we will we will see. Uh, but I, I will continue on with this for a little bit longer. And we'll see how that all goes. Maybe we'll actually add in some stairs, proper stairs this episode as well. So we've gotten started on getting this uh, next little bit done. And I want to show you just what's what's happened. Uh, nothing too much with the top there, because I think for today we'll go on to a few other things which we need to get done on this build. Uh, but yeah, I've just kind of extended it up a bit, pushed that in a bit. I don't feel like it's exactly what I had planned, where I wanted this to be significantly more narrow. Yeah, I guess narrow would be the word. I, I don't know. Maybe just a bit more inward there. Uh, yeah, narrow would be the word for that, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I wanted it to be significantly more that way, and it, it doesn't seem to be like that. However, that's not a problem, because we, we can live with this, because this build is actually... It's turning out <laughs> really, really sweet. You know what? Uh, hold up a minute or so, and we'll go fly away, and I'll show you how this looks from, from a little bit of a distance. It is... I think it's spot on right here. I think we've, we've got something good going on. So what I've started doing is the staircase going up. We're doing a spiral staircase like I wanted, just like that. And conveniently, uh, I found that the spiral staircases with slabs, I um, I mean, I've known this for a while, but I've only recently started doing it, um, that they, they've got the perfect amount of uh, blocks for you to get around all the time without bumping your head, which is uh, as long as you go up on the corners as well. So like there, you have to go up. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think this this is a uh, a good enough good enough staircase for us. Let's let's go there. Now, what we have to do for this staircase, which is uh, why I oh good, we made it. Uh, we we're gonna just quickly light this area up, make sure nothing can spawn in here. And this part is going to be completely hidden. Maybe we can. Oh, we don't have any oak slabs. Yeah, we're gonna hide this part here. So let's just get some oak. I can't think of what else we might need. Let's. It'll probably all be in here. Oak, there. Just get a full stack. A bit of logs. Maybe some of those. Just grab them because... And I think that'll be alright. I think we'll be fine with these. 
So what the plan is, is as we come up here, we want this to be a nothing room. This is just a, a blank piece of area. And we're going to make sure that we don't see anything. So we'll first of all just block it in with some of this. And then we will get a little bit of decoration, a little bit of decorating going on in here. I'm not too, too, like, I'm not too sure what it will be. But the only way I'm going to figure it out is by putting it together and seeing what we want. Okay, so along these edges, we can probably do something a bit more interesting. Can remove... Oh, uh, I guess we could remove that corner. That'll be alright. So we'll do those. We'll then put in maybe some of these. Or actually... Or actually... <laughs> even better. One of these. We put these in. How do they look? Let's just... We'll get a few more. I think this could be something that we do. We'll do those in there. We grab some more of those. In fact, we will need a lot more. There. Good. Alright. So we'll we'll try this out now. With this, I think we may land up with a little bit too much spruce, but we'll find out soon enough if that's the case. We'll have to grab those out. And I, I <laughs> yet again, I've built an entire build with oak as the main building block. The the toughest wood for me to get, and I do it every time. But you know what? I am I am in love with oak wood. <laughs> I can't not have it in a build. So that's fine. We'll see how that looks. Yeah, that's good. I think that'll work. We can then go ahead and put in uh, these ones up here. Which could also actually be inverted of what we've just done here. Nah, I think we'll leave it. We'll leave it. And in there, we can also add some stuff. Because that's unnecessary there. I'll show you what I mean by that. So we can, for instance, add in some fences there. Or, what I was thinking, something like this. Like that there. That will eventually become, up the top here, a balustrade thing. So, there. And we'll remove the bottom ones as well. There we go. Now, I'm really excited that we are doing this... Don't know what just happened to those there. I'm really excited that we are getting this sort of stuff done as we build, because a lot of the time I leave this stuff, and then we take a long time and we kind of lose interest in the build. And then we come back to it. So I want to just get this stuff done as we go. And we can see... We can actually enjoy the build for what it is. You know what I mean? Because by the time we, we finish this, we probably won't come here nearly as often as uh, we would we would hope. So it, it gives us time to enjoy it with the nice stuff in it. It's kind of like uh, a thought that I have. Which um, I'm sure I can't be the only one who has it. Uh, when people sell their houses and they fix stuff up, you kind of... Like in, in real life... Why, like, you kind of feel like you're spending all that money to do it for you not to enjoy it. It just, it baffles me. It makes me, like, wonder, what, why, why would you do that? Like, you can spend, I understand probably, depends on your situation or whatever, but a realist, and, like, I understand people say, oh, if you add this in, the house is worth more value, but it just, it seems pretty counterproductive when you could have done it a few years before and enjoyed it for yourself and then sold the house. It's just things that, things that keep me up at night. <laughs> Uh, let's get those. They will be good. Yeah. So, let's also... We'll, we'll just have to... Guess. Um, that could be enough for us. Yeah, that'll be enough. Because all we have to do is this inside piece here now. Where I want to do that. Nope, you know what? We got the wrong wood. We got the wrong, uh, uh, what are these things? Fences. We want these fences. Yeah. Bit better contrast inside. And there we go. That's what we want. Right there. I was thinking of putting a railing going up the sides of these, but they, I, I get the feeling it's, uh, it's probably not going to be a good idea. We can just have it like this, I think. And then we'll have a painting or something in there. I think that's going to look good. I think this is actually looking very, very good. Alright guys, so I kind of forgot that we were going to go... Well, that I did promise you a flyover from here. So we've, we've got our wings going. And we're going we're gonna to look at it from afar. And we're also going to have a, a good flyover this thing. Uh, from that side, I want to go up to the mountain. Because I know you guys like the mountain. 
It's a good view. It's my my perspective that I like to take in terms of building this. I don't want to land just yet because we, of course, don't have many many lives, many health. Let's uh let's check it out from here. How's that? I think that is looking absolutely awesome. I, I obviously we're going to do it a bit more detailing over there. We like kind of merging it in, so ignore that little bit over there. But just overall, this building is it's turning out very different to the way I planned. But I think it'll be good. I think it'll be very very good. Oh, I forgot. I'm uh I am kind of on a mountain. I've got to remember that. And now the next stage will probably be taking it in again, and then we will add in our big tower. <laughs> I'm really, really excited for that, guys. Uh, so, yes, I will be finishing this episode right here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Leave me any suggestions or anything along those lines. And specifically, as I said earlier, if you guys have got any building questions or anything along those lines that you would like for me to do so that you guys can see how I would do them or you would like to know of how I do them, let me know down in the comments section for sure. And I'll be sure to get to them hopefully in a video at some stage or maybe in the comments. Maybe I can help you there. But thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.